Hi guys, welcome back to Valerie's Home and Gardens and welcome to my dining room. Now in today's video, I am going to show you the correct way to measure for your dining room rugs so that you get the proper size. Now I've seen one too many shows on the TV that's showing dining room tables and chairs sitting on little um, rugs that as soon as you pull the chair, it falls off the edge of the rug. That is a no-no. It is an absolute tripping hazard. And so let's not trip over those rugs. Let's get to it and show you exactly what to do, guys. Now, if you have watched my videos before, you will know that I love me a whiteboard, right? But I'm not with that regular whiteboard that I'm used to using. My son grew out his easel and so I have been upgraded or maybe I've been downgraded because now the he's with down hair and I'm up here. I guess I'll have to augment the legs, but that's beside the point guys. The first thing we need to do is get the measurement of our table. So I'll measure the length of the table and the width of the table. Let's go for the length. So my table is 66 inches long and 38 inches wide. So let's get that on our whiteboard. So this is 66 inches and this is 38 inches. The next step is to add increments to our table that will accommodate um, the chair when it is pulled out. I've seen videos before that show how to measure for your rug and they will say put the chair up to the table then pull the chair out then put tape on the ground and do the same thing for the other side and then do some type of a measurement. The thing is, I might pull my chair out to here. Somebody else might pull it out to here. So really, how do you account for that? The best way is to add increments that will make sure that when you pull your chair out from the table, you are still on the rug and not off onto the floor. Therefore, the suggestion is to add 24 to 30 inches to each side of the measurement of your table. Now, I like to add 30 inches. I prefer to go larger than smaller, right? Let's go ahead and do some simple calculations. What we'll do is we'll take the width the width is 38 inches. Now we need to add 30 inches for this side and 30 inches for this side. 30 times two is 60 inches. So we'll need to add 60 inches to the 38 inches and we will get eight 98 inches. However, we will have to um, convert that to feet because we will be buying our rug by feet, not inches. Therefore, what we'll do is divide 98 by 12 because there are 12 inches in a foot. And that's 8.16 equals 8.16. 0.16 feet. So we can say that the width of our rug will need to be eight feet wide. And that's okay to drop the 0.16 because we've already used the 30 inches, right? 
now let's do the length we'll need to add 30 inches for this side here and 30 inches for that side so we'll need to add 60 inches to 66 so that's a length 60 inches that's 126 inches so it's 126 divided by 12 so we divide this by 12 and that gives us 10 point five feet so the width of our rug will need to be at least eight feet and the length will need to be at least 10 feet you can go 10.5 you can go even go 11 but the smallest i would go is eight feet by 10 feet and that's the proper size of the rug guys to make sure that your chair or your visitor's chair doesn't fall off the edge of the rug that method that you pull the tape the chair out and you put tape that's not convenient if you're on the run if you're on the run all you need to do is get the measurement of your table and then you know that you'll just need to add 24 to 30 inches for each side to your width and to your length and there you have it divide by 12 you get the rug that you need that's the proper way to do this thing guys i hope that was helpful if you have learned anything from this lesson please give it a thumbs up share it with your family your friends and your neighbors share it with everybody because i'm sure that most people have rugs under their dining room table right it's a classic it's not going anywhere by the way i'm going to be doing some more um videos on dining room rugs because there's a lot to learn right so look out for that thank you guys so much for subscribing and for watching the videos thanks for all the shares and the likes and the comments too i like when you engage me so keep commenting hit the subscription button now there's a lot for you to learn and remember to hit the notification bell icon so you can be notified of new videos you take care now and i'll see you in the next video